This is the negative binomial distribution calculator for MathCelebrity.com. To get there, you can type negative binomial distribution. So this is the calculator. We have three entry boxes. The first is number of occurrences, which is N. The second is the probability of success, which is P. And the third is number of successes in those occurrences, which is K. So once you have those three inputs straight, you press your appropriate probability. So first we're going to show you the probability that X is exactly equal to K. So it says a negative binomial distribution has a probability of success of 0.25, which is what you entered here. Calculate the probability that success number 3 occurs on trial number 10. So here was your third success that you entered, and then the number of trials was 10. So the binomial probability formula for the negative binomial distribution is as follows. It's this formula here. So once you have the formula, you basically plug in your n, p, and k, and you simplify. So first, we're going to take this piece by piece. We're going to take n minus 1 factorial. Well, if n is 10, n minus 1 is 9. 9 factorial is this. We simplify it this. Next is k minus 1 factorial. Again, k was 3, so k minus 1 is 2. 2 factorial is 2. Next is n minus k factorial, which is 10 minus 3, which is 7. 7 factorial is this. And that evaluates to this. So now that we have this, 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 P, and N, and K, we plug these values in. So we have our N minus 1 factorial, P to the K, 1 minus P to the N minus K, our K minus 1 factorial, and finally uh, our N minus K factorial. So we go ahead and simplify that, multiply through, expand our powers, and we get this. So that's the probability that there are exactly three successes and ten trials. Now as a bonus, we also calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation of that particular scenario. So the mean is always k over p for the negative binomial distribution. In this case, it's 12. The variance is mu times 1 minus p over p. We plug in those values and we get 36. And always, as always, the standard deviation is just the square root of variance. In this case, it's 6. So now, let's go ahead and we originally ran p of x equal to k. What about probability x is less than or equal to k? So this, the wording becomes different. Now it's the probability of no more than success number three occurring on trial 10. So if we got 10 trials, we want three successes and no more on trial 10. So because it's not exactly three of 10, we're going to use x less than or equal to k. Now again, we're going to go through all our input values like we did before. But now, because it's not exact, we're going to calculate x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, and x equal to 3. Because we want no more than three successes, which means 0, 1, 2, or 3. So we go ahead and go through each step. This is probability x equal to 0, and it's marked off by this little line here. We do exactly what we did on the x equal to k, but we do that four times in this case. So now x equal to 1. So k becomes 1, 1 success. So basically we're repeating this formula, but the only thing we're changing is k, which will change n minus k. Now let's do probability x equal to 2. So k becomes 2. And finally, probability x equal to 3. So k minus 1 becomes 2, n minus k becomes 7. And if you remember, when we had 10 and 3 for n and k, this was our answer. Now, here's what we do at the end. Because we want to take every success less than or equal to 3, we take 0, 1, 2, and 3. 
add up the four probabilities that we calculated, and we get our answer. So because we had at least no more than three, it could have been zero, one, two, or three. And then again, just like the other calculation, we calculate the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So finally, the last type of probability we could have is at least. If you ever hear the word at least, at least k successes, this is what they're talking about. So now, calculate the probability of you having at least success number 3 and trial 10. So you could have had three successes, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. But instead of going through seven times, we take an easier way. And what we do is we say that is the same as one minus the probability x is less than three. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through our zero, one, two, three successes again. And we're going to take one minus that. Because that's going to represent the probability that we have at least so we go through x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, and x equal to 3. Now, up to this point, this is exactly what we just did on that less than or equal to calculator. So we add all those up, and we get 1.558. But if we want to get the other side of that scenario, at least, we're going to take 1 minus that, and we get 0 0.8442. And then again, as a bonus, we calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So this is fairly easy to use. There's only three inputs. You just need to decide which scenario you're going to run. We've also got a quiz generator. If you have any questions on that, please use the video link under this folder here. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, as always, use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.